Welcome back guys to the FIFA 14 manager mode. Return to familiar territory with Portsmouth. Uh, this is I believe episode number 4. Now before I start this episode I just want to quickly apologise for two things. Number one, not having an episode last week as this is due to the fact that I was sleeping over at my auntie so I really couldn't do much about it. I could have recorded beforehand but it was actually, but I didn't because I didn't know I was actually sleeping on that day so Sorry about that. And the second thing is, I do apologise for no sound last week, as the sound was out of sync and it was very bad. But I did say that I was turning the quality down to 720p just to counteract the um, the problems. And at the moment, it seems to be working. There isn't any lag. So hopefully, let's see if this one works. Um, hopefully now I can do a weekly series of this now. Um, God, it's very, it's like freeish now on Sunday uh, now. Uh, Top Gear Gran Turismo should be up uh, ASAP as soon as I get Red Jams, Joshua Anson's and hopefully Michael Mullins, um or Ball Boy is his name's uh, footages and then I can edit them because I've done my footages already so then I can edit them and you know, get going. Um, editing them and uploading it. So, but for now let's do this. Now, in the last episode, if you, as you've just seen, uh, we actually got um, a loaned a guy from Manchester United. If we look on our squad, where is his name? Actually, he's not on there. That's because I only just bought him at the last minute on the last episode. So let's go over to our squad. Um, by the way, a lot of you are probably wondering how am I recording this on PS4? Well, I bought something called a video converter, which uh, bypasses the um, lock to uh, record gameplay on the PS4 because I've got a copyright lock at the moment and I've not unlocked it yet. So, if any of you want to record PS4 footage without the, the use of a share button and want to get past the, uh, the, the copyright lock, then there's your answer. So, right, we're going to get our lone player on, which is. There he is, Janu's Edge from um, Manchester United. Apparently, according to Dynamic Man 123, by the way, a big shout out to him because he was a guy who suggested uh, him. Um, he is a tank, so it's best that we actually get him on. Um, he's actually the same as Ertel, so we'll get Ertel off and then we'll put him up. Because of the, let's have a look who we can get him off for. Wallace, because he's also a right mid as well. We'll get Wallace on the bench. There you go. That's our squad. Right. We are not making any changes. I need to see what the date is. Okay, 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 okay. Right. Now, what I want you to do, guys, in the comments section, please put down who you want on the team. I'm getting you guys involved on who you want in the team. Remember, you need... How much have I got? Let's have a look. Um, I think I've got like 400 or 500,000, uh, somewhere around there. So, in the comments, please put down what you want to see being for, I think. In fact, let's, can I see how much money we've got? Uh, transfers, finances. There we are. Right. We have got six. Six hundred and ninety-seven thousand. Sorry, six hundred ninety-seven thousand and fifty. And our weekly wage budget is at five thousand pounds. So, if any of you have any suggestions on what we can do with that, make sure we don't get skin guys. I don't want to end up with zero pounds. Um, then please put down in the comments who you think is worthy to go into Portsmouth for helping out. Now, the last episode we actually had a pretty good. Um, we were getting better because we were finally scoring some goals. So let's hope with Januzzi we can get more. So today we are against Northampton. So anyway, um, unfortunately we didn't get Akin Fenwar. Unfortunately, uh, as all the offers that we tried uh, didn't work. But I am hoping to get him during the January transfer. Okay, guys, because by then we should have earned a lot more money uh, to gain enough wages for him. Because I think the reason why is because um, he had just signed for Gillingham and they weren't willing to get rid of him straight away. So 
let's just see what we can do. Let's just hope for starters we don't get fired because we need a win. Anyway, let's play this match. Okay. We're going to be in our a wicket today. And we are at Court Lane. I don't know if that's a real pitch, but they can't get every game, pitch on the game. Let's just hope EA's physics don't come into play. Anyway. Just missed it. I'm only having a few goes at this, guys. Ho -ho! Top corner. Oh no, that's way too high. That's going for the same area. Right, what we can do is we can just give it a little bit of a tap. Now we're gone. We actually have to kick it. Oh, let's see. Right. I like to do these little challenges. The front. Alright, we've got. I know it says one more attempt, but it's actually two more balls that we've got left. So, let's see. Oh, I hit that. That was going to go into the corner. Right. We're going to wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait for that to go that way. Here we go. Let's go. Oh, I missed it. We only got 1,095. Oh, well. Let's go. Let's skip this bit. Now, there might not be much talking, but that's usual because I want to concentrate. So, here we go, we're going to get kicked out. Just got boxed in. Oh. By the way, a lot of you would have noticed the F1 community has broke the code and started playing other games. It's because F1 2015 is getting a bit boring. Which is why in WRL Season 2 is going to be on 2014, because the game is not fun anymore. Fine body was offside. Um, yeah, the game's getting a little bit boring, guys. So, you know. Anyway, that says 8.28, but I know it's... I'm not concentrating on that. Let's go. Enough talking, let's get on there. Your phantom are always getting offside all of a sudden. They are trying to be greedy here, guys, as I've just um, noticed. No, that wasn't good. Into the 
attacking third. Thank you, Ralph. Uh, thank you. My controller vibrated. Poor oh, Bongo Zane. Well, yeah, in a bit more. Come on, guys. Yeah, yeah, that was me, Mom. Anyway, it's with you. That was so close, guys. Bloody corners. Get out of the 
What the hell was that there? How lucky am I? How lucky am I? That didn't go in. How lucky. being aggressive to me, so I'm going to say he didn't even fall down, but I think we reckon that so was trying to tackle it. Chance at goal. At best. Kickoff here for the start of the second half. He's got to change the point of this attack. Straight in sharply, read it well, got in there quickly. Ventosa. now under control and the chance to move themselves forward get up the pitch oh, the referee is blown it's in his mind now no difficulty for the ref here because that should be a booking and it is well you look at the ref and his view he was right on top of it so uh, he knew what he wanted to do there the ball presented possession to the opposition now here's a 
chance to attack. It's thrown to the opposition. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. Cross coming in now. They were hoping but it didn't lead to anything across. Substitutions at this stage, the key moments really, and the manager deciding to bring this player on to try and tilt the match which is level in their favour. Not the best corner in these circumstances. Morris. Oh, lost possession here. The interception there was key, really. To the side that's having to defend at the moment. Options available on the bench for the away side today. No doubt about that, goal kick. Well, they're going for the win, aren't they? And this match that's been so tight with this change. back off they could be in trouble and the ball gets to here oh very good tackle not his first today either be judged offside here close but uh, got to get the movement timed a little bit better got the tackle in are warming up for the home team we'll see who comes on goal news from Scunthorpe it's a third goal for Scunthorpe United 72 minutes played 3-0 thank you very much Alan substitution well we're still level here and we're going to have a substitution Is this the way to alter the match in their favour? Well, 
double. Whether it will be trouble for the opposition, we shall see. Two new players. from Hartlepool. It's a goal for Hartlepool United. 74 minutes played. 1-0. Max Allen. Darren Carter. <laughs> Slipped his man with no problem at all. Going to cross it. Possibilities with that good pass. Great chance. Oh! Well, the statisticians have been proved right here, haven't they? If you keep shooting, you're going to you're going to score, aren't you? The percentages tell you that, and that certainly happened in this match. Yeah, and, and when you create as many chances as they have, yeah, I mean, it's always on the cards that they're going to get a few, and it's been fantastic for the strikers, particularly out here. Well, it was a marvellous finish, Martin. He's in the right place at the right time there. Wonderful goal. In quickly. Goal news from Exeter. It's a goal for South End United. 80 minutes played. 1 0. Cheers, Alan. Good movement to get to it. To Morris. Some options on the bench for the home team. The countdown is on. We're into nine minutes now. It's a chance. They'll need to try and get the ball back now. It's good play until they got that challenge in. Adjiman. That's a decent challenge by the opponent. Nichols. Well, they've been uh, thwarted here. That's a sign of better things to come. Goal news from Plymouth. It's a goal for Bristol Rovers. Four minutes remain. 1-0. Thank you very much, Alan. Substitution coming up as they look to make sure they hold their lead till the final whistle. And off he goes again. He's offside again. Here's Carter. That's a vital stop. attack a little bit of menace to it and it will go into the middle now and that cross is cleared by the defender oh what a vital stop I've seen players wilt at this stage of a game and he is wilting got a chance to cross stretching there Ajimang it's a goal an equalizing goal we so actually scored. This is a side you just cannot write off. They keep on, keep on going. Yeah, they're a nightmare to play against. You think you're safe, but not against this lot. Oh, the momentum is with them now, isn't it? Having come from behind, this could be a famous win if they can grab another. They're all level again. One one the score. Subtle little clip pass in, really. I'm gonna trust his goalkeeper's footwork here with a back pass. There's a chance for Portsmouth to win the game here in these dying moments. Tremendous match here as the final whistle goes, and it has finished level at 1-1. Very close game. Neither side could really get themselves on top for long enough. Both sides did have the chances, Martin, but at the end of the day, I don't think either side deserved to win. So it's full time with the final score, one all. I'll leave you with the full match highlights, and until next time, I've been... Coming up now, the classified results. Let's join Mike West. Thanks, Martin and Alan. English Football League 2. Accrington Stanley 2, Fleetwood Town 0, Cheltenham Town 1,
Bury, two. Dagenham and Redbridge, two. AFC Wimbledon, one. Exeter City, nil. Southend United, one. Hartlepool United, one. Chesterfield, one. Newport County, three. Rochdale, one. Northampton Town, one. Portsmouth, one. Oxford United, one. Morecambe, one. Plymouth Argyle, nil. Bristol Rovers, one. Scunthorpe United, three. Burton Albion, nil. Torquay United, nil. Mansfield Town, one. Wickham Wanderers, two. York City, nil. Welcome to EA Sports, live coverage of League Two. It's Portsmouth against Plymouth Argyle. Of course, the game being played under lights this evening. Time we headed straight for Portsmouth. Your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Alan Smith is with me, I'm Martin Tyler. Delighted to have your company for this match today. What are you expecting from Portsmouth today? We can put a slant on it and uh, spin it as a positive start. Two draws, unbeaten. But uh, for a team expected to win promotion, they're just going to put the foot on the gas a little bit more and be more of a threat going forward. Into the face of the opposition. The attacker, well, he's powered his way past a rather poor piece of defending. Wonderful interception. Well, he saw the guy could switch the play to and came up with the pass as well. Excellent. Well, the home team will be pleased to see the visiting team sheet because one of those main strikers who could certainly come here and hurt them is out injured. Yeah, and on his travels this year, Martini, he has nicked one or two goals away from home, so that is a blow. Bocco. Uh, once he's oh, committed, wow. he knows he has to get it right because otherwise he would have definitely been a penalty. 
this looks like this guy's really good. Really good. I need to be quick about this because I know James will be doing his duty with five all around these in the back. First off, let's keep this up. So I can make a game of it now. So we reach half time with a score one nil. Let me just see what my team is back. Right, Janusi needs to go off straight away. He seems to be very, 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 very lucky. So Holmes will go on. And yeah, because we want to keep this lead, we want to win. We're going to make it quick. Here we go. Why did he? No! Oh, ho, ho. Change of possession here. Possession in the midfield area. The opponents come in strongly. He's young. Chance, but it was nothing like a solid contact. They decided to make a change, and being behind, you can understand that. 
players limbering up for the away team. Substitution in the offing. Well, there's still time to hit back in this game, and they're going to try and do... Right, we've got some... I think the defender needs to come off. Got that. Um... with a substitute he's allowed uh, three substitutes and two of them coming on together here oh my no 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 I need to leave that. What a classic mistake. Huh? Oh, Oh, for God's sake. Man, but he's only put the ball into touch. No wasting of time in that situation. Take the touch from the player. So much distracting, I'm sure. He's green. Over the touchline, that'll be a throw to the opposition. Okay. Why are you giving that? Seriously. Let your physics sort to that. God's sake! Absolutely fantastic play from a fantastic... 
fantastic. Oh, that's a goal that really their credentials. Oh no, stop it! I mean, bias. So now a goal kick to come. They've got the ball in the middle of the pitch here. The defender has dealt with a cross. Can they draw the ball here with five minutes left? Players this bring up to be away team, substitution in the offense. Oh, muscle's gone for this player, and the cross jumps in now. He's only picked out the goalkeeper's gloves. Come on. Today at York. Sending off for Northampton Town. The stage is 10 men. Please, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. Maybe I should have kept that formation guys. I knew it. Not again. I should have really kept the formation that I had. I'll leave you with a full match highlight. And until next time, I've been Jeff Dunn. See you then. Another game lost. Well, now it's time for the classified results. Thanks, Martin, for now. English Football League 2. AFC Wimbledon 1. Sheldon Town 1. Bristol Rovers 3. Dagenham and Redbridge 0. Alton 1. With the Wanderers 1. Berry 3. Apple Stanley 1. Sheffield 4. Exeter City 0. Wimbledon Town 2. Anyway guys, I'm going to end the video there, so thank you very much for watching, I have been Jersey Willows, and once again guys, please put down in the comments um, what you think, which player should I buy, as we've only got a few days until the transfer window ends, so yeah guys, thank you very much for watching, this has been Jersey Willows, and hopefully we can win in the next game, until then, take care.